Whether you have pain in your back or joints, surgery may not be the answer. Instead of the dangers involved in cutting out tissue, consider healing and rejuvenating the area with stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. The treatments that are available to professional athletes are now available for you. Watch the videos at jointrehab.com or call the Darrow Wellness Institute at 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Welcome back to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. We're taking your calls at 866-870-5752 right here in the studio. And when you phone today, you get a free book. It's called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. And the foreword is written by Suzanne Summers. That's free book right here, right now, 866-870-5752. And that book has 264 scientific studies. What do you think, Dr. Darrow? I think it took me five years to go find all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it but was it was worth it because pe- people <clears throat> it really, it, questioned you. It was you. worth it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, really, one of the reasons I wrote it, it sounds really weird, but I used to lecture to hospitals uh, for continuing education for the doctors about the work that I do. And at the end of every lecture, there'd be like, let's say, 50 guys in the room there would be an orthopedic surgeon or two who would stand up and go, where is the research on what you do? <laughs> so um, I'm an empirical guy, meaning I do what works in medicine. I don't really care about research too much, although, you know, research is research. Today's research is tomorrow's toilet paper, and then there's new <laughs> research. <laughs> it is, I swear. But some doctors live their life praying to research. You know, this is the research. And um, I don't find that the research is real. So I decided to put together a book on the research against my will to help people see that regenerative medicine is real. Um, You know, it's been studied forever. There's endless studies on stem cells and platelets and back in the old days doing prolotherapy and all that, showing that there's tissue growth. My patients who have been to an orthopedic surgeon when they tell that person that they healed from getting stem cells or PRP, platelet-rich plasma, the surgeon goes, that's impossible. You can't grow tissue. But they don't look at their own research. Their own journals show that the tissue does grow by injecting stem cells and using platelets and other things to stimulate tissue growth. Cartilage does grow. I know it's hard to believe, guys, but it's real. And uh, I almost got thrown out of med school way back for talking like this. I was told you better keep your mouth closed because all these ideas you have are not what the party line likes. So I had to be kind of careful who I spoke to. I'm not a proponent of, of um, things like um, chemotherapy for most things. That was a big one in med school. They didn't like me for that. Uh, what else? I didn't like surgery. They didn't like me for that. Well, I had the surgery on my shoulder and it failed. So I'm sorry. That's just, I'm telling my story. Uh, Medications. I don't love medications. There's sometimes you have to take them. You know, if you've got a heart condition, you've got high blood pressure, you better take a medicine. But most of the medicines I see people taking, um, they, you know, I say, I don't really believe in this type of medicine for you. And they go, what am I going to do? Would you take me off of it? I go, no. Your doctor put you on it. I'm not going to take you off. I don't interfere with other doctors. This is just my opinion. I've been trained in natural medicine. My grandfather was a natural medicine doctor, born in the late 1800s, and I hung out with him. So I'm not a person to like drugs and surgery and uh, all the things that come with our, what we call traditional medicine. I don't want to keep Robert hanging. So Robert, uh, thank you for calling in. This is Dr. Mark Darrow. You've got an ankle injury Three, of some, some kind. kind. Hmm. Robert, you with me? Robert, are you there? There was a click I heard. I wonder if Alex can fix that for us. Uh, no, we lost him, it looks like. So, Robert, call back. 866 870 Eight seven zero five seven five two. He might have come in on a bad trunk or something. Yeah, let me let me talk to Robert while he's listening on the radio anyway, and everyone else listening about ankles because it's a great subject matter. 
I get people in all the time with ankle issues. The most common, although it doesn't look like that, is what's called the anterior talofibular ligament. It is a ligament on the outside of the ankle, on the lateral side that connects the, um, the area where the lump is. You know, everybody's got that lump on the inside and the outside. And it connects that to the bones on the foot to keep the ankle stable. It's the most common um, ligament injury, the anterior talofibular ligament. And that's where a lot of ankle pain comes from. Now, there, there can be arthritis, which I see very, very frequently. And there can be, you know, 20 other things in the ankle that cause pain, most of which we heal up just using stem cells and or PRP. Now, when we do stem cells, if we take it from bone marrow, the bone marrow produces the stem cells and the platelets, so we get both at the same time. We can just take blood and get platelets, but you don't get very many stem cells that way, so we use bone marrow for the stem cells primarily. I don't want to keep Salvador waiting. I'll, I'll go to you, Salvador. This is Dr. Mark Darrow. You may have tendonitis. You have pain in your arm and your fingers. How long has that been going on? Salvador, Salvador. are you with us? Yeah, yes, I'm here. A little okay, bit over good. two years now. Yes, okay. And, and, and uh, it has gotten gradually worse. Like, um, I'll be typing, and then all of a sudden I feel like this, I don't know, maybe low numbness and, and like just like pain, and, and I just feel like I don't want to do work anymore. And, not, and I Who wants to, to do work? <laughs> I know, I know. Um, they told me I don't have carpal tunnel. And, and but they said uh, maybe tendonitis and yeah. they just told me to just take a few more breaks but I just feel like yeah. man I'm I'm only 34 and it just yeah. gets worse and then what options okay. do I have so I guess that's the reason why I'm calling. Sure. Well, how did how how was it that you were told you don't have carpal tunnel? Why did you get they an did this, e little, they did this little uh, exam on me where like they uh, put a little liquid on my hand and gave me some shots some shots. Oh, and shocking. Okay. So that's called a nerve conduction study. And the other one, you, they had needles they put in also? I, no, I, they, didn't, they didn't put needles. Okay. Um, no, no, they did. They did. I'm sorry. They did. I should remember yeah. they did. So the, the needle part is called an EMG, electromyogram. And the, the shocking part is called a nerve conduction study. And they, that's not fun okay. to do. I, I've done it on myself. At UCLA, where I did my residency, we had to do those. Um, we had to do like 300 of them as part of our training. And then oh, wow. when I was when I was teaching it at uh, one of the VAs to the new students, when I was one of the older students, uh, you know, the newer guys, I had to show them on myself. So I did those studies on myself in front of uh, the younger classmen, and I was like, I got to tell you guys, this stuff hurts. You know, I'd done 300 of them on, on the patients, and when they were yelping, I had no idea why until I did it on myself. It's not fun, right? But anyway... It, it was not. Yeah. Let me, let me tell you about that. Those studies are not always accurate. There's about a 15% chance that you could still have carpal tunnel syndrome, even though you had the EMG and nerve conduction study. And, oh, wow. Uh, I'd have to examine you to find out. But nevertheless, let's pretend that you do have carpal tunnel syndrome, what would you do for it? There are several things you can do. You know, one thing I like to do when it comes to hands is get a big bowl and put it in your sink and fill it up with the hottest water that you can and put some Epsom salt in there and soak your hands every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to sleep. And that helps heal all those kind of things. It helps loosen everything up. It loosens up the collagen. It can even help with carpal tunnel syndrome because carpal tunnel syndrome means that the median nerve, which originates in the neck, it, it's the nerves that come down for the neck, go under the arm and go down the arm into an area called the carpal tunnel, which is in between the carpal bones. And with overuse, because you're a typist of some sort, it sounds like, and you use yep. your hands all day long, which gives it a tendency to create carpal tunnel and other syndromes where the tendons that move the fingers 
um, can be irritable. And if you try this, you may have a miracle healing. And the water's got to be real hot. You're not going to like it. And um, then how many the, minutes? Well, here's here's what I've done because I had I had a couple of trigger fingers and I used that. Um, I stick really hot water in there, so hot I don't want to put my hand in. I just kind of dip it in quick. And then as the and Epsom salt is important because it has magnesium that helps relax tissue. Okay, oh. so. Um, that's a great healing thing. And then when the water gets not as hot, you can actually leave your hands in it all the way for you above the wrist so that carpal tunnel can loosen up. And um, how many minutes? As long as you can stand it. And then when the water starts okay. to cool off, this is why I do it in my sink, I put more hot water in right there. And then I go through the whole same process again. And then I stretch my fingers and I stretch my wrist. Okay, so that may help you. If not, there are injections you can get that may be helpful. I have to examine you, just like I was telling Bonnie and Art in the beginning of the show in the first half hour, that um, right. I have to examine so people. So, so step I, one, I'll try it with the Epsom salt in the hot water, and then step two, if that doesn't work, then I'll call you and I'll visit you. Yeah, you can always come in the office, 800-300-9300, is the office number. I'll repeat it for everyone. It's 800-300-9300. And you can call right now if you want. There's people who are there and um, they can answer more questions than we're doing on the radio. But uh, I really appreciate you calling in. And again, um, you know, I have this happen all the time. People email me from all over the world asking questions. And one of the questions they ask is, can I please send you my x-rays and MRI, and then you can tell me if you can help me. Now, I don't treat based on MRIs or x-rays. I am sorry. You can't do that because we do studies on people that have zero pain, and we get MRIs or x-rays, and it shows terrible things. And then vice versa. We have people that have terrible pain, that we do studies on, and we find sometimes their MRIs and their X-rays show nothing. So this is not something I can do based on an MRI or X-ray. It's not something I can do by a conversation on the radio or an email to my web, you know, from my website. And by the way, for you folks who want to get a hold of me by email, um, you can go to www.lastemcells.com. I've got a giant website with lots of information and videos of me doing the procedures. And uh, you can email me from email every... Me from every Whoop, we got clipped again. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Salvador, can you still hear me? Nope. Alex, do you know what's going on? Anyway, um, sorry, Salvador. Somehow or other, you got disconnected, it sounds like. But at any rate, uh, it's possible to help carpal tunnel if that's what you do have. And the tendonitis, which you may have, I can usually help by doing uh, stem cell or PRP injections, cells from your body that we inject back in into the spots that are worn down, injured, overused. Okay? So um, I'd love to get more callers. We're having some technical issues today, but uh, the number to call in to talk to me live right now is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. I want to cover a couple other areas. If you do call me, um, I'm going to give you, send you a book. That's a $25 value. That's what we sell it for. We'll give it to you for free. It's called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Regenerate, don't operate. I should have used the word please in there because you're better <laughs> off um, you know, getting an injection to heal something rather than having a knife put in. I always tell my patients, when you put in the knife, it never really comes out. It's uh, something where tissue is cut or removed, and then the integrity of whatever it is, the foundation is disrupted and compromised. And um, that's not a good thing for the body. Oftentimes, people will get a surgery, and they go, yep, 
it worked. You were wrong, Dr. Darrow. And then a year later, they come back and go, oops, you were right. I never should have done it. So I'm going to say from my experience, getting a surgery is a 50-50 gamble. Um, some work great, for, at least for a while. And then, you know, if you've had the compromised joint or tendon or ligament, it's going to break down later. So be careful. You know, I would always check out with a regenerative medicine doctor, not a chiropractor who is bringing in his patients to have injections by a nurse or a doctor for the day who doesn't really do this for a living. I always tell my patients who need a referral for anything, go to the guy who does the most. Don't go to someone who hangs a shingle up saying they do regenerative medicine, do stem cells who doesn't know what they're doing. Go to someone who does it all day long. I'm not saying I'm the only guy. In L.A., there's probably three of us that I trust, okay? Guys that do it all day long, every day. Um, not very many of us do this for a living. But a lot of people, including orthopedic surgeons who don't even believe in it, will do it as a leader to get people into the office. And my orthopedic surgeon buddies don't believe in it. Even the guys who do it, they say, yeah, I do it once in a while, but it doesn't work doesn't work because they don't know what they're doing. They don't do enough of it. This is not something that you do one time and expect to be healed. It can happen, but um, the failures in regenerative medicine are from not getting enough treatment because I've injected myself in some areas where it didn't work the first few times. I never gave up though because I see sometimes it takes a lot of treatments. And then I mentioned the bad docs or the nurses that don't know what they're doing. Uh, docs who don't know how to use an ultrasound for the knees, the shoulders, the hips. The studies show if you don't use an ultrasound on those big joints, the chances are at least a third of the people, the solution won't even get into the joint. It goes into the soft tissue. And we see that happen when people get uh, hyaluronic acid injections where the tissue blows up and they have to get a surgery called an incision and drainage to clean it out because it looks like an infection. That ultrasound is mandatory. And then a, another reason for failure is some people don't listen. They cheat on me. They go right back out to doing <laughs> the same activity that caused the problem. Well, duh, you know, if it's causing you pain, stop doing it after you get the injection to let the tissue grow. You've got to do that. And then there's a small class of people that keep taking their anti-inflammatory medicine, the ibuprofen and whatnot, and um, that blocks some of the healing. You know, it's an anti-inflammatory. These procedures of regenerative medicine using platelets or stem cells, um, part of the way they work, it's not the only way, part of the way they work is by creating inflammation. Inflammation draws fibroblasts to the area that we inject, and fibroblasts are the little cells in the body that actually grow tissue. So we want to sequester them or bring them to the area, and um, regenerative medicine also uses cells and um, other types of, of um, tissue growth modulators that can actually grow tissue. Now we're going to go to Vivian who had a fall and she hit her head and thank you so much Vivian for calling in. Uh, what happened to you after your fall and hit your head? How long ago was that? Okay, thank you so much. okay I uh, went to the emergency, but I was a few hours later. Yeah. In the meantime, it got his, uh, like it did swell for a minute on the, from, on the outside. Yes. And I had the uh, MRI done, whatever, everything came out fine. But every now and then, I might feel a little dizzy, a little hesitant. Uh, if I lie down and I get up to get out of bed or whatever, I have to be very careful so I don't start swooning. Yeah. So. How long ago did this happen to you? When was your fall? About five months ago. Okay. Is it improving since then? It doesn't hurt or anything, but I, I just have that sensation sometimes. I'm going to Yeah. <clears throat> have you ever heard of the word concussion? Yes, I have. You have what's called a post-concussive syndrome, it sounds like to me. Yeah. I, that's what they examined me for. Okay. So... Um, did you whiplash at the time you fell? Did your neck get torqued? No. Okay. 
Um, do you have any kind of pain anywhere in your neck or back or anywhere else in your head? No. Okay. Now, you could have had a whiplash also, although you're saying you didn't. Falling on the head. Well, I did black out. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. That sounds terrible. Um, again, I would have to examine you. Uh, there may be things in the neck where the ligaments have loosened up, and I would have to do oh. an examination. I don't know the answer for this, certainly not over the radio from what you've told me. Sure. Um, okay. I'll call back and make an appointment. Yeah, the number to the office, if you do want to call, is 800 300 9300. That's 800 300 9300. And for you folks who are waiting to call in to talk to me live right now, the phone number to the studio okay. is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. Um, we'll have to talk about this and see what's going on. There is a supplement that I used after my brain trauma, which was two years ago. I was rear-ended at 50 miles an hour in my car. And um, mm -hmm. I had the same kind of symptoms and a lot more. And then I found a supplement, believe it or not. Um, it's actually, it's called Brain Vital, I think. And Designs for Health makes it. And as soon as I started taking that, my brain cleared. I couldn't believe it was real. The way it works is wow. by opening up the blood vessels in the brain. So I'm not saying that's going to help you. It helped me. And... Um, if you want to talk about that more, just give me a call at the office, 800 300 sure. Or you can email me right now. Uh, you can go to your computer, and there's a place to email me on every page on my website, which is www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. And I'll respond to you in a more personal way uh, about... Right. And would that be helpful for vertigo as well? It may be. Vertigo, um, I had that also that was totally debilitating after my accident for months where I was fine if I was lying down and as soon as I'd lift right. up my the whole room would start spinning right yeah it was absolutely one of the worst things that ever happened to me and it would come and go there's exercises that can be done for that you can look that up on YouTube I don't know if you know about youtube.com just put in vertigo exercises and I did those and that helped me quite a bit um it went on for a few months, on and off. It went away uh, for a couple months, and it came back for a couple months. But I haven't had it now in about a year or so. So I think that part oh, of my wonderful. brain trauma is over. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it because everything you said, that's what I'm going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And I think I can help you, Vivian. Um, you know, my work with stem cells and platelets is really for the musculoskeletal system mainly. I don't do IVs and things like that. Um, I'm not against having that done with stem cells because it may be helpful for someone like you. But the FDA doesn't like it, and the medical board doesn't like the IV stuff, and um, so I don't do it. So uh, there are people I might be able to refer you to who do it if they're still doing it. Uh, FDA came out with a new proclamation on June 1st limiting a lot of what we can do. But there's still possibility that there are people doing it who don't really care what the FDA says, who go out on a limb. Right. So why don't you email me? Go to the website, www.lastemcells.com, and uh, just email me. Any page you go to will have a spot to email me, and I'll get back to you in a very personal way, okay? Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Okay. I Thank you so much for your call, and let's go to Nancy. And Nancy, this is Dr. Mark Darrow. So I read what the... Oh, no, this was going to be so good. You had your two new knees and have a lot of grief. I'm so sorry. You can call me at, at the office, 800-300-9300. And God bless everyone, and thank you so much for listening. Nita, thank you so much. Alex, thank you. Thank and you. Suzette. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, Darrow. Yeah, it's been great. Great Alex? show. Great show. Okay, and listen to our pal Warren Eckstein from 11 to 1 every Saturday. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we'll see you next time. You've been listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Now that you've heard Dr. Darrow, you can schedule an appointment to talk with him in person by calling his office anytime at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300.
or go online to lastemcells.com. Again, the website is lastemcells.com. Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow is heard every Saturday at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. here on AM870, The Answer. Remember, to take the first step toward a pain-free life, schedule an appointment by calling 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Live long and pain-free. And thanks for joining us today.